What's going on, everybody? It's Lights Out from MaddenDilly.com, and here is game two of our Mutt 15 season. We won game one. I posted it yesterday. Now it's time to get a second win to the season. We're trying to make the Super Bowl. If we get more than two losses this season, we will not make the playoffs. So every game counts. We're starting off. We see that he always is consistently having eight guys in the box. And he's blitzing the right side and he's base aligning. So there I audible to an outside run. Hit Hillis in the flats. Hillis is starting the game off strong. Now I just put Johnson back in. Motioned them to the left. Found them open in the flats. I'm going to be doing that a lot this game. He's not really respecting the flats. As I hit him to the right side. So I go left, right. And he's letting me roll out. And now I'm going to take advantage and bomb my opponent deep with Johnson. So it was a dual running back effort that drive. And that was pretty easy, so we're starting off 7-0. Good defense on first and second down. Third down, I make a huge error. And I dipped on the flats when I shouldn't have. I, I was responsible to play deep, and he hit me just like that. That was the cheapest touchdown ever, and it's all my fault. But we're still moving and grooving. 7-7 seven seven with 55 seconds left. Again, exploiting the flats, just taking it one play at a time. Here I hit him with a screen that he was not ready for. I almost get the first. It's third and one, and I'm just going to pound it in with Hillis. Getting close, the 33-yard line. I hit him with a counter. He was not ready for it, and we get in for the touchdown. It's 14-7 to seven with 3.54 left. We got to buckle down, baby. We got to get this stop. He's in that pistol running a play action, and we're about to pick it off this time, and we don't react why does that happen so much in Madden 15 we don't know but it sucks when that happens and again it happens oh man that could have been two picks when my safeties did not react and now just like that he's on the six seven yard line I get a nice stop he's running off tackle at a strong guy six yard line and my player just my defense just decides to not react to that left side I have two zones there and no I'm not playing that slant all right cool 14 to 14 I don't feel like my opponent's gonna stop me until Michael Vick overthrows the damn ball I had the post wide open the inside bullet pass and now the tides have turned a minute 44 left in the second my opponent's running the ball down my throat I cannot stop it third and two and we Get the stop. Let's go. Fourth and inches. Really? First and ten? Oh, man. We got to stop. There's a minute 17 left, and we picked that shit. A ball hawk bait interception. A minute 14 left. That was huge. Our opponent was about to score, and he gets ball at half. We just throw a nice pass against cover two, followed by a quick read to the running back. 52 seconds left. I'm in I form, looking for the PA end around to the left. He is playing press coverage, so I'm thinking it's man, but it's not. I'm rolling out to hit the corner route. He was playing the flats, but he baits me just like I baited him. And he gets the pick right back with 40 seconds left. And he's back in control of this game even if he gets a field goal like i said he gets ball at half but we're locking up third and ten we get a stop and we force him to punt with 27 seconds left but a great punt by him and no success with that few seconds remaining so we're taking it into the third quarter 14 to 14 i'm not playing so well on offense but we are playing defense second and 15 and we do not get the pick third and 15 we make sure we have a deep guy there. We're playing perfect defense. D-R-C with the easy. Should have been an easy pick, but I cannot buy one this game. And he gets it. First and 10, he's running the ball on me. Man, I needed that interception really bad. Again, he gets the first down. Still running the ball, but we finally get a stop. Second and 11. And we again get a crucial pick. And I say, give me that. Let's go. My offense has to show up. Big run on first down. Hitting the flats again on first and 10. Second and three. We find a open receiver. No overthrow by Vic. Rolling out to the right. Nothing really there. So I'm taking it off with Vic. Getting the first down and sliding. 
37 seconds left, first and 10, rolling out to the left, nothing is there, great defense by my opponent, second and 10, again I hit the flats, been open, all game, third and 5, we hit a crucial big play to the running back and get the first down, but we fumble, and luckily we pick it up, however, they're not giving us the first, fourth and inches, we're just going to pound it in with, I thought was Hillis, but we don't have Hillis in and we get stopped. Oh, just like last game that I posted yesterday, we get stopped on an inch with the HB Sting at a goal line. And with 337 seconds left, he could just run the entire clock out and kick three. He keeps hitting me with an out route to the left and strong close. What a great run by the quarterback, but I'm taking it away manually. Every time he's in strong close now, I was playing on the corner. Here he comes out in a pistol set. So I'm expecting the run up the middle. He does a play action, but we get a stop. 2.30 left, and he gets the first down. All he needs is a field goal. So we need to stop him right here, right now. Two-minute warning, and he gets a first down. Got to waste the timeout. Game is not over, but this is it. We got to get the stop. He's in strong close, so I'm playing on that left corner, waiting for that route. But he runs the ball to the right. We get a stop. But now I'm realizing I can't just stay on that left corner. I mean, there's no way I'm going to be able to get a good enough stop. Second and 12. Watch the adjustments. I'm going to flat the left corner. Man up the left linebacker on my left, on that left receiver. That way he is blanketed. That out route is not open. I'm playing the middle myself and we get a huge coverage sack. The sack that we needed. Here he just runs the ball. So I waste my final timeout and we get the stop. He's forced to take three. A minute and 11 seconds left. I have no timeouts, so I need to get big plays, and I need to get out of bounds, which I did not get out of bounds there. I'm forced to no huddle. Using any of the quick audibles that I can really fast, I go to PA post, and the post is not open, but the slant is. Again, we're not out of bounds. 37 seconds left. We do get a nice nine-yard pass and get out of bounds. Now we're rolling out, and what a dot, and we get out of bounds. We're on the 35, we're in field goal range. Now we're just making sure we stay out of bounds. So we're in PA, end around. And he played great D there, he blitzed the right side. So now I'm gonna run it again to the left. The reason why I'm running this is because I, I know that I could hit the running back, the tight end, or run with the quarterback and I could get out of bounds. So that's why I did it. I got out of it there. And finally, I'm on the 13 yard line. Eight seconds left, I have no timeouts. I want to do a spectacular catch to Burris, but I like doing it 10 yards and shorter. So I'm going to try to get three more yards with a quick pass, a flat pass, or a, run, a rollout to the left. Here I'm, I have my slot receiver on a corner. I'm going to motion the left receiver to the left and throw a quick pass to him. If that left corner goes up the field and plays the corner route, and that's what I do. He backs off. X looks open. I'm going to throw to him and get out of bounds, but... Surprise, motherfucker. No, <laughs> I throw a pick six and that's the game. I was greedy. I could have just took my three, went to overtime, but no, I had too much confidence in my offense and I just lost. So now I'm one and one in this season. One more loss is all I could afford because you're only allowed two losses to make the playoffs in the first string of Mutt. One and one. Tune in tomorrow for game number three. Sorry, fellas. I choked this one. But I hope you guys enjoyed anyway. If you did, please hit the like button. Comment on whatever you want. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, it's Lights Out from MaddenDaily.com. Later.